so how can you get a less storage on your iPad? Now, what you probably mean by that is that your iPad is like full and you want to just free up some things. So you can open up the settings, tap on general and proceed to the iPad storage section. At the top of the page, you see a little graph of how much storage is free, how much is taken up and by which source. So most likely it's either going to be apps or photos. And if it's, in, if it's in apps, then you can do two things. You can either delete the app altogether if you haven't used it, or you can just offload it. Plenty of different apps right here have the ability to be offloaded, which just means that the installer file or like the actual app will be removed. It will free up the storage, but the data which you have accumulated will still be stored meaning that when you then decide to re-download the app again, you can just continue where you left off. Or as I said, you can also delete the app altogether if you believe that you are not going to need it anymore. When it comes to photos, which is the second largest compartment of the storage for most people, well, you again have a few options. Like you can back up your photos to some different place, for example, to iCloud or Google Photos or even your local external SSD. So that way you can then free up the photos from your iPad and have more storage. Or if you don't need it, you can also just delete it altogether. Pay attention to the recently deleted album as there are things which you decided to remove, but they are still there for 30 days. Or you can also review your large videos, because if you have some files which are like really large, you can delete just a few of them and free up a lot of storage. So these are my tips on how I like to approach my iPad. If it works for you, most definitely subscribe and I will catch you later in the next tutorials.